Hey, what's going on YouTube? Gary here, GZ Duels, here to bring you guys a match, a full match, and I'm playing something very familiar to you guys. It's going to be my Chaos Ninjas. Uh, the reason why I'm playing Chaos Ninjas is because I want to uh, test out the side deck. I'm pretty happy with the main deck. Um, thank you for your suggestions, though. I I've taken it into, into consideration, and I've made some minor changes. Oh, he's going to begin with an Allure of Darkness? Okay. And uh, probably, like, Dark Worlds or maybe some sort of... Ins oh, he's... What? Plague? You banish Plague? Oh, he summons Thunder King. Hmm, so it's some sort of Twilight deck. Well, Thunder King really hurts me at this point because I only have like Hanzo and stuff, so I'm going to send a Mirror Force. Uh, Mirror Force is one of the new additions. I found that, you know, um, when this deck uh, is at a disadvantage, when my opponent has way more monsters than I do, uh, it, it tends to lose. That's why I want to put in like a Mirror Force just for normal monster removal. And yeah, so see, he attacks with uh, Thunder King. I'm going to just use Mirror Force to get rid of the problem in order to start my own combo. So <clears throat> that's why I like Mirror Force. It's potentially uh, netting pluses because if my opponent has two or more monsters, you know. So I normal summon uh, Hanzo. I'm going to use Hanzo's effect in order to search. Oh, oh, he's using Valor. All right, that's fine because I have another Ninjutsu art. I'm just going to attack with Hanzo. Uh, I like this deck because um, my opponents don't tend to want to burn uh, like bottomless trap holes on my stuff or like mirror forces on my Hanzo. They would tend to like just let the Hanzo attack go through. So I'm going to use Pot of Duality, see what I get. Um, I think I'm going to get Dark Hole because uh, Chaos Sorcerer is a bit late game. Uh, it would be good late game and um, Photon Thrasher, you know, I have another Hanzo, so if my first Hanzo dies, it's not a big deal. I don't, I'm not in need of a monster, so I think I'm going to go for Dark Hole. And uh, yeah, it's going to set the bottom list because he has two uh, back row there. I'm not too worried about him using Heavy Storm because then it'll be a three, he'll lose three cards and I'll lose three cards. If he wants to make that deal, I'm fine with that. Oh, he summons Armageddon Knight. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely some sort of Twilight deck, definitely. Um, I'll, I'll let that go through. <clears throat> and if he tries to attack me, I'm just going to super transform. Uh, if he doesn't, then we'll see what happens. We'll see what we draw. Oh, he doesn't attack. Okay, so we're just going to draw. Oh, draw into BLS. That's a good card. Um, I can't use the second Hanzo because if I activate the effect, uh, the Armageddon Knight would negate it. So I'm going to transform with this Armageddon Knight then. Um, basically get rid of that and uh, summon my Light Pulsar Dragon. Yes. We'll see if he has a response for Light Pulsar Dragon. And uh, no summoning response. That's cool. Um, just wait a little bit more. And I'll just enter Battle Face and attack. He's looking at my graveyard. So he has a response. Yes, he does. Oh, he's going to deprison. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, deprisoning that uh, Light Pulsar is kind of a pain. So I'm going to normal summon Hanzo and use Hanzo's effect again. I like to just like uh, play conservatively. When I run out of the monster uh, on the board, I'm going to replace it with another one and slowly and slowly build up advantage. Um, other than that, you know, I, I don't really want to overextend with uh, BLS yet because he has a back row there. I just want to play it safe. <clears throat> so far, you know, not doing pretty, not doing very bad, you know. He's, I don't think he drew very well. Okay, he's going to use, okay. That's fine, Foolish Burial. Um, probably a Zephyros. If he's playing some sort of Chaos, maybe Zephyros would work. Uh, or maybe Mizuki. <laughs> but his uh, Plague Spreader Zombie... Oh, it is Mizuki. But his Plague Sp Spreader Zombie is like banished, so I don't see Mizuki being very useful. You know? <clears throat> oh, he's banishing a Light and a Dark in order to try to spell summon probably some Chaos Monster. Okay, it's BLS, so I'm going to uh, use Bottomless on his BLS. And yes, <laughs> and it's my turn. Yay, awesome. I uh, drew into Photon Thrasher, good. So that now uh, when my uh, Hanzo dies, I can uh, sp special summon Thrasher and keep continuing it. So I'm going to set the super transformation and pass my turn off to my opponent. Okay, he's gonna set a card and pass the turn back. Awesome, I'm just gonna keep doing damage with Hanzo. I'm just not going to commit to the board. Uh, if he has a Torrential Tribute, you know, it's gonna be a pretty bad day for me and uh, that, uh, like if I only have a Hanzo on the field, it, there's not a good uh, chance that he'll use Mirror Force. Or even if he uses Mirror Force, okay, he summons Valor. Sure, okay. Oh, creature swap. Okay, I'm gonna chain. Uh, I'm going to chain that. Yeah. So before he gives it to me, I'm going to chain it, 
and uh, send both of those monsters to the graveyard. And then I will use uh, Sewer Transformation in order to get a Debris Dragon in the fence mode. And since he has no monster to give me, uh, basically the creature swap doesn't work. Okay, now it's my turn. I do have Heavy Storm, but I don't want to like heavy into a uh, Starlight Road and because that would be pretty sad. So I'm just going to hold on to it and uh, just attack for a thousand. <laughs> I have way more advantage than he does. Oh, see, now he has to burn a mirror force on my debris dragon. Oh, and I remove my debris dragon. Oh, doesn't matter. That's fine. And I'm going to special summon the photon thrasher and just play conservatively. Oh, okay. He has the tarantula. See, that's why I didn't overextend. I only extend when I need to. I only. I, I also have a phoenix chain, so if he goes for some sort of play, I could destroy him. He sets one card, so I'm just going to Heavy Storm. I don't care if I lose that Phoenix Chain at this point. Uh, okay, it's an MST. Awesome. And then, uh, since I do have a Light and a Dark in the Grave, because he Tarantled my Photon Thrasher, I'm going to banish both and Special Summon out the uh, BLS. And we'll see if that is game. Yep, that is game. So we're going to enter game two. Um, I'm deciding to record uh, my siding process so I can explain to you guys some of the choices. And as you guys can see, the side deck has been updated. If uh, the lag would stop, <laughs> I would show you guys uh, what I updated. Um, basically, I'm just gearing up for the Drago Sack uh, prophecy format. So I got a lot of soul drains for, for those guys. I got a lot of soul drains for the um, mir uh, mermails. So I'm just going to side in these cards. I want to side in soul drain because there's a possibility that he's going to have like plague spreader and uh, it might mess up my day. So why not? Uh, I also want to, I guess, take out the huge revolution is over because he has a lot of acro. And I'm taking out the fiendish chain because um, basically I found that, you know, it's not that useful against his monsters. His monsters are quite manageable. And I'm going to switch out the Compulses because he depends on the main deck a lot and not on the extra deck. Compulses are good if your opponent wastes resources in order to exceed summon or to synchro summon. Um, but, you know, he doesn't do that much, especially when he has like a Thunder King and I have like Compulse. It doesn't really help at all. So I'm just going to side out those and uh, put in the uh, two Dust Tornadoes because he does have a lot of back row. And uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, game two. Um, I guess he's going to go first. That's fine with me. Draw. Let's see what we draw. Hey, not bad. Um, the added uh, benefit of Dust Tornado is if I have, you know, Gold Ninja like I do, I could just uh, pitch, you know, um, Dust Tornado instead of one of my Torrential Tributes because I only have two of those and those are pretty good. Um, so it's another trap target for me. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's pretty versatile. And I drew into MST, so uh, we'll see what happens. He's going to summon the... Oh my gosh, he's going to summon the... Doom Caliber Knight. Okay, Doom Caliber Knight. Oh, he's just deciding to set one. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I'm going to MST that one. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a skill drain. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, uh, and I'm going to set the Torrential Tribute and the Bottomless Trap Hole. I'm going to hold on to the Dust Tornado because he didn't set the other card. And uh, yeah, hopefully he summons another monster. Oh, no, he just... Okay, so he just gets rid of the Trental Tribute. That's fine. Uh, I'll take some damage. He had the MST, so I think it was the card that he wanted to set, or maybe not. <laughs> oh, he sets two. Okay, so now I don't think I'll be pitching uh, Dust Tornado. I have two Hanzo, so I don't mind burning a Hanzo on, on for the uh, Doom Caliber Knight. Sure. I'm going to activate the effect, and Doom Caliber Knight will trigger its effect, and I'm going to set another card. Yeah. <laughs> I have bottomless, um, not too worried. Oh, he sets another card. So we're going to play the back row game, basically. All right, well, I'm going to initiate some aggression. I'm going to normal some Hanzo. And uh, okay, cool, his Hanzo effect then. He says the summon's okay, so I'm going to activate the effect and uh, search out for super transformation. It's really cool uh, with Hanzo. If you normal summon Hanzo, get the super transformation, you get a plus one, right? And then afterwards when you set it and your opponent summons a monster and you use super transformation in order to get another one, that's a plus two because basically you use one card Hanzo to get rid of one of their cards and you get another super big card. So I really like Hanzo. It's like a potential plus two with super transformation. Oh, he's gonna set, oh my gosh, he's gonna set so many back row. I guess um, I don't want to initiate any aggression so far. I do have um, I do have a dust tornado set, so yeah, I do have another dust tornado set. So uh, I'm going to basically just wait and see what happens. I guess 
Uh, I don't want to attack into his back row. No, I, I don't want to. So I'm just going to set the warning and end my turn. Oh, he has the end face MST on my warning. Uh, okay. A little bummer. Like, you know, if he, he hit my... Um, I still have Bottomless and I have Dust Tornado, but if he hit my Super Transformation, that would have been a bad day for me. Uh, if he hit my uh, Dust Tornado, that would have been sick because I would have chained Dust Tornado. Speaking of Dust Tornado, uh, I guess I'll set that, and when I'm ready to make a move, I'm going to use two Dust Tornadoes, and I tag with Hanzo if he has a response that will damage my Hanzo or uh, put me in a compromising position, then I will use Solemn Judgment. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm going to activate the first Dust Tornado and pick that one. <laughs> Oh, it's a mirror force. Good. I hit the right one. I'm going to activate the second dust tornado, and I'm going to pick that one. Uh, whatever that one is. Oh, that's a book of moon. Okay. That's interesting. Um, I guess I will initiate the attack and attack direct, uh, attack his monster face down. Let's we'll see if he has a response. Oh, he has a dimension prison. Uh, I guess I'll banish. No, no, no. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, Hanzo is actually pretty important because I do have the super transformation set. I don't mind paying. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Let me ask if that is okay with him because I know it's a bit late and some people will kind of like uh, would will hound you on that. Like some rule sharks will not let you do that because it's late and you're entering main phase two. So I'm going to ask if the attack will go through. Uh, see if what happens if he... What's that monster? Oh, it's a Mizuki. Okay. It's a Mizuki. Okay. I feel like I'm in a pretty good position. I drew into another mirror force. So yeah, I, I think I can, I can deal with something like this. If he tries to summon a chaos monster, I can bottomless. If he tries to uh, attack, oh, he's going to set a monster and uh, face down and another face down. <laughs> so many back rows. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hit one of those just blind MST. Because uh, I know he's playing Chaos, so I don't, I don't care if he has like a... I don't think he has like an Abyss Sphere, so I can afford to blind MST, basically. And I'll attack into his monster. Oh, it's a Plague. So he has a Mizuki and a Plague in his graveyard. Oh, okay. That's pretty interesting. I do have the bottom list, so if he goes for a uh, Synchro Summon, it'd be okay. And if he tries to minus himself with Plague, I'm okay with that, too. I do have the Super Transformation, so... Oh, he's going to do a Lure of Darkness. That's fine with me, I guess. <sighs> hmm. I'm curious what he sided against me. You know, so far I'm seeing some of the same cards. I guess he probably sided in more trap cards against me. Oh, haha. <laughs> sided in DD Crow? Do you think he sided in DD Crow or do you think he main decks DD Crow? I don't know. DD Crow doesn't hurt my deck that much, though. I guess it does. Okay, he's using Dark Hole, so. Uh, my Hanzo dies. Oh, he normal summons the Thunder King. I can't have that. <laughs> no Thunder King, please. Okay, and uh, it's my turn. Oh, awesome. I drew into a trap card. So, okay, Gold Ninja, do your thing. I'm going to try to go for Constellar Omega. So uh, if it successfully summons uh, when I attack into him, all his mirror forces and stuff doesn't work. So I'm going to use the effect and pay the cost to see if I can special summon. Oh, and he's going to warning. That's fine. I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I do have Mirror Force, and I do have Chaos Sorcerer. I don't want to use Chaos Sorcerer right now. He has a back row. We'll see what happens. Oh, he summons Fossil Dyna. <laughs> do you think he sided Fossil Dyna? Probably. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you know, that's fine. I'm going to Mirror Force this Fossil Dyna and draw into another Mirror Force. Okay, I guess at this point, I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to banish my Light and my Dark. In order to special summon the uh, Chaos Sorcerer, if he has a Bottomless, he has a Torrential, that's fine. I drew into a Mirror Force, so I'm not too worried. Hmm. I guess I will ask if the summon's okay. It's okay. I'm going to attack. <coughs> Excuse me there, guys. Uh, and I'll set the Mirror Force and uh, see if he has anything. Oh, he has nothing. Yes. So I drew into Hanzo. Nice. I'm going to normal summon Hanzo and uh, go for game, probably. Activate the effect first, though. Uh, oh, he admitted defeat. Well, that was a very well-played game. I feel like it was one of the better games. And uh, I guess thanks for watching, guys. This is Gary Cheesy Duels signing out.